Hello friends. Welcome to my YouTube channel Android Code. Today I will make a bulb project. In this project click button to on off bulb. And tap many clicks to blast bulb. So, let's start it. This is few steps. Step 1 create a Android Studio project. Create project. Select empty activity. Change project name to bulb. Click finish. Now our project is balding. Step 2, design a XML file. So now, create an image view tag. And his width 500 dp. And his height 500 dp. Center in parent. True. Now go to my file. And copy. This two bulb images, for on and off bulb. Copy this and open Android Studio. And open drawable folder and paste image here paste reflector ok image is copy now set by default image for src tag off bulb show off bulb by default id id image view now for click events create a button tag button with match parent Hike warp content. For set button in bottom of screen. Align parent bottom, true. For some space. Layout margin. 32 dp. Text, by default text is. On. Ok, now. For java click event. ID. ID. Button. Ok, now. Press alt plus control plus L. To line by line set a code. Our XML design is finished now. So go to our documentation. Step 3 go to Java file and set click on button. So. Go to Java file and define a global variables. Private. Image view. And image view. Or. Private. Button. And button. Now ID binding of image view and button. Image view equals find view by id r dot id door image view and button equals find view by id r dot id door button now go to our documentations and show here set click on button ok go main activity dot java button dot set on Click listener. New. On click listener. OK. Now, I will set buttons click to on and off bulb. So I will create if else conditions. For conditions, I create a new variable. Private boolean. This variable name is switch. Equals false. Oh. OK, I understand. We cannot create variable for this name is switch. Because switch is a keyword in Android Studio. This use in switch case statement. So I change our variable name now equals false. OK. Ready. Now. I will button click to change on and off bulb images. So here, write if and else statement to check bulb is on or off. If. Switch. Equals equals. False. So. Image view. Set, image, resources, image view, dot, set, image, resources, r, dot, drawable, dot, image on, enter, button, dot, set, text, and, text is off, ok, now else part, else, now, create his body, and, Right. Image view dot. Set. Image. Resources. R. Dot. Drawable. Dot. Image off. Enter. Button. Dot. Set. Text. And. Text is on. OK now. Oh. I forgot button click to switch is changed to on and off. So switch equals true. And in the else part switch 
equals false. Now our code is here all done. Press Alter plus Control plus L to formatted code in line by line. Now, run our app. And check output of our app. OK. Our app is running successful now. Click button to change images successfully. Click on and off. OK. Our app is working properly. OK. Now, next. Go to our documentations. Step 4. Click to play sound. With use raw folder. In the Android Studio MP3 file save for create a raw folder. So, app, in new, in folder, in raw resource folder. And next, click finish. OK now, go to raw folder and paste MP3 file here. OK now, go to my files, I already downloaded this files from Google. OK then. This two files copy. Click copy. Open Android Studio and paste in raw folder. And click reflector to save. OK, this two file we are listening. Open this file. This sound use for our buttons click. Nice, sound. OK. Now next. Last file. Oh boom. This file use for our bulb is blast. OK now. Go to our documentations. Step 4 is 50% done, and now click to play sound code. Create final media player. Media player class use for create sound object and play sound. OK now media player. This object name, I type click. Equals. Media. Player. Dot. Create. First parameter context in this. Second is file name, so this is, r.raw.r file name click. OK now. Now button click to play sound, sound get from raw folder. So. I type something for your understanding. So. I am break this line. OK. This is, done. Now. Click button to start sound. Click sound. We created these sound by media player class. Click. Dot. Start. Here click is an object of media player class. Click is a reference of media player and start sound on buttons click events. OK, finish it. Now our app is run successfully. Listen. I click this button to play click sound and change images also. Click on. Click off. OK. Done. Next, step 5, Blast Bulb. For Blast features import this dependency. So, copy this. Open build.gradle file. And go to dependencies body. Paste here. And after click sync now. 2. Import this dependencies code in our project, to we are access Blast features. Now importing is finish. Go to main activity.java and create new global field. That's name is explosion field. I repeat this name explosion field. Create object explosion field. Next, create new integer variable for counting how many times user click the button. So, int counter equals zero. This value is by default zero. Explosion field, is used for, any Android object, to animation like this object is blast. Next. I will initialization of, explosion field. Because explosion field, attached with our app window screen. So, explosion field equals. Explosion field dot, attach to window, and pass activity context. This. Now, our task is like. User click on the button. 10 times 2, call explosion field. To our bulb image is like blast. So, how many times user click button for? Increase counter variable value. So, counter plus plus. Counter value is, by default 0. User click on button to, increase counter value. Now, 
write some conditions. OK. So, if counter equals equals 10. So, enter in if body explosion field dot explode. Here, explode is get a view. I give to image view. OK, understanding this code. Counter value same as 10, so bulb image is blast. Now, click, alter plus control plus L to code set properly. Now, create new media player object. Because, play blast sound. So, final media player. His object, I type this name is blast. Equals media player, dot create, pass context. This. And, our dot raw dot, blast. Now, our user click 10 times on button, and if condition is true so set sound of blast. So, blast, dot start. Next. Press alter plus control plus L. To formate our code to line by line. Now. Understanding code. User click button. To increase counter value in all time. If counter value is same as 10. So, bulb image is blast, and start blast sound. Ok, now. Over code is complete now. All done. Run this app to show output. Here. Our app, install successfully. Open app and. Click the button to on off bulb. That's was, amazing. I click 10 times and the bulb is blast. Okay, all done. I hope you are understanding this code. Thank you. Check description box, in our document. If you enjoy this video, like, subscribe, and share this video. Thank you for watching guys.